Good evening, everyone. Um, are you happy that the emergency evacuation amount, and I think you all know the emergency evacuation yes. system, <coughs> just to remind you, if I may, that you are being recorded and uh, that uh, please switch off your phone, myself included, actually. <laughs> uh, so it doesn't go off during the meeting. That's better. Right. So, uh, first item on the agenda is uh, apologies for absence. Uh, I don't think I need to please. No, I don't think we've got any apologies. Uh, no, no visiting members, no members attending. No. Uh, minutes of the meeting held on the 6th of February. Is it your wish I sign them as a true record? Great. 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 Anybody want to bring anything up uh, from that uh, that's not elsewhere on the agenda that we have in front of us? Okay. Uh, any declarations of interest, please, members? <coughs> if anything should arise during the meeting, uh, you realise it, it should be declared, please do so, and we'll make sure it's admitted. Uh, right, so matters referred to the executive and reports from other committees, there are none. Uh, so we go straight to item six, which is the Council's Project Programme Management Office dashboard. So item six, who start this off, please? Um, thank you, Chair. Um, the uh, dashboard, as you know, is produced mm -hmm. on a quarterly basis, um, and provides updates um, for those projects um, which are linked to the MTFS and the report into this um, board, uh, this committee. So the two uh, items that are referred to within that report are the homelessness project, which is essentially around homelessness reduction act and the success of various implementation measures have in, in mitigating against that ongoing risk, uh, and the uh, um, ICT project, um, which uh, uh, again I think is self-explanatory, particularly in relation to the migration. Um, so we'll try to see if you have any questions. Okay, thank you. Any questions, just please. Yes, yeah, just one uh, for my chairman. Um, I wonder, have we any idea of any of the hidden households? Uh, within the district, I know um, we obviously know those that, that are homeless uh, or whatever, but have we any idea of those people who are living at home with parents, grandparents, um, and uh, maybe are down on the list? Chairman, I believe we have that, probably have that information from the last census, whether there's any uh, any update on that? I think we need to take back and just have a have a look. And a look see. Uh, happy to do that. I think it's one of those things, if I may, that you you, you know you wouldn't necessarily know uh, because obviously you don't know about every household where somebody's registered something or where they've applied for um, better housing because they are overcrowded or whatever reason. Then obviously that might well be recorded. But I think it's one of those things, I mean, they're called hidden households for a reason, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and that's, mm -hmm. that's part of where we are. But having said that, of course, we, you know, we have got records of those who have registered with us for further housing, and that's really all we can go on for the moment. And I think you're right, as far as the census is concerned, um, it's very difficult because it's a volatile figure anyway, I think. You know, sometimes it will be higher, sometimes it will be lower. So it's, it's, it's a difficult figure to produce. But I'm, I'm happy to see, uh, have a look, see, uh, uh, to determine whether or not there's any further information we can provide about. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, sometimes called uh, sofa surfers as well, and whatever exactly. Yeah. I, I think the reason I brought that up is, is, a, is a fact that uh, I've mentioned to Marcus with regard to people with requiring large bins, uh, yeah. and, and it has that same impact where they've got large families who are living in the same house and they need to have the larger bin because of obviously the excess uh, recycling and rubbish that they, they have. The only other thing that occurs to me is whether the social services might have some information uh, about that, possibly. So that might be another avenue. Yeah. We'll do some investigation, Chair. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, anybody else got questions, please? Uh, did you want to say anything uh, about uh, the uh, ICT at all? Anything you want to volunteer, shall we say? <laughs> <laughs> I can do, I can do, yes. I mean, we're, we're at, the, at the point, I think the uh, dashboard shows that um, the sort of number of, of servers that have been migrated or are up, up in the cloud now, and there's only three 
um, to left for EduServe to actually put up into Azure, and those three aren't significant, they are sort of um, operational um, servers that we've got, so they, they basically have fulfilled the original tender that we asked. And um, as you can see in the report, it does say about some that were out, out of scope, some that we combined together, so they've consolidated some of those servers we have as well. Excellent. Okay. The only other thing I wanted to ask you is um, our colleagues in South Edinburgh Council had completed the technical audit of the uh, server room and other things as well, and you said that uh, you're waiting for the report. Do you know when that might come along? Yeah, we have asked them for that report, um, and we're just waiting for them to send it. We have um, chased now um, somebody a bit senior, so we've escalated that. Um, and we've said to them that you know we have the report in any format that they can give us at this moment in time. So I'm just waiting for them to come back for that full report. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Any other questions, please, members? Okay, so members accept the. Uh, uh, let's see, where are we? It's at the end, isn't it? <coughs> 6.4. Yeah, 6.4. Yeah, so uh, recommendation is that. Uh, Contents be noted, so we're happy to do that, members. Yeah. Right. Item seven is the uh, report of the meeting. Uh, sorry, it's the chief officer appointments committee. Yeah. Uh, I understand this is being held because we're we're looking for another uh, head of service. Again, did you want to say anything? Chairman, I have not had enough to the report. Okay. And I think we're using pen, aren't we, for this as well? Uh, we are chairman, yes. Members, any, any questions around that? I mean, that we need to have it because we've got yeah. to have the meeting. <laughs> if we want to move forward. Yeah, because it hadn't met before because there was no, no need. Was, we didn't time. think that at the time there would be any need to. Okay. Thank you. Things um, change, as we know. Recommendations yes. at 6.4 again. <laughs> right, members agree? Agree. Agree. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so uh, now we're going to. Uh, hopefully uh, into exclusion of the present public. Uh, so uh, to agree the present public excluded from the meeting the remaining business on the grounds that exempt information is defined in paragraph three of part one of schedule 12A of the Local Government Act 1972 will be